Hey there, it's no secret that OpenAI isn't as open as its name suggests. Most of its technologies aren't open source or accessible to the public. In fact, when you attempt to use their AI, the only thing that truly opens is your wallet. I reckon Elon Musk would agree with me in saying there's nothing wrong with making money. But that wasn't the intention when he founded OpenAI with Sam Altman, Greg Brookman and others in 2015. The mission was to make AI freely available for the benefit of humanity as a non-profit organization. However, according to Elon and his lawyers, the partnership with Microsoft has been quite questionable and troublesome. They weren't even happy when OpenAI began taking a less transparent approach and ended up filing a sensational lawsuit alleging it wasn't right. Drop a comment below if you've used ChatGPT or other AI and what you use it for. Let's talk. You might know Elon Musk as one of the world's richest men and the mastermind behind the world's second fastest production car. But Elon was also one of the founders of OpenAI. At the time, the charter stated that the resulting technology would benefit the public and the corporation would not be organized for the private gain of any individual. But in 2019, they tweaked the corporate structure a bit after seeing the potential for profit. OpenAI remains a non-profit organization, but it wholly owns and controls an LLC. This LLC controls a holding company, which is the major owner of OpenAI Global LLC, a limited profit company that received a hefty investment from Microsoft. All this is supervised by a diverse board with currently three members, Brett Taylor of Salesforce, Adam Delangelo of Facebook, and Larry Summers of Washington. But the change in structure was significant. Now in 2024, OpenAI is the most valuable AI startup in the world with a valuation that currently stands at $86 billion. It seems that Sam Altman and Elon Musk are friends as when Sam recently criticized Tesla's detractors. So why is Elon acting like this with him? The content of this lawsuit is incredibly serious. Elon Musk's lawsuit talks about how OpenAI was turned into a code subsidiary and how the new board is refining an AGI to maximize the Microsoft's profits, not the benefit of humanity. They say, and rightly so, that this was a betrayal of the founding agreement. Elon left the board in 2018 and was even offered a stake in the lucrative arm, but he declined. This puts you in an interesting position in this situation. Elon has donated over $44 million to OpenAI since 2016 and now, because they have, once the sacred commitment is broken, he has a valid reason to file this lawsuit and seek some kind of redress. The idea that OpenAI and Microsoft are one and the same requires a great dose of delusion to deny. Satya Nadella, the CEO of Microsoft, recently said that if OpenAI disappeared tomorrow, they have all the intellectual property rights, all the capacity, all the people, the computing power, the data, in short, everything. They are above, below, and around OpenAI. While technically Microsoft doesn't control OpenAI, it clearly has an overwhelming influence. Another intriguing point in Elon's lawsuit is that it alleges that models like GPT-4 represent artificial general intelligence and that OpenAI is developing something called QAR, which has a claim even stronger than AGI. What's your opinion? Is Elon right that OpenAI should be open and that Microsoft, and now the world's most valuable company, doesn't need more power? As Bon Jovi once said, the more things change, the more they stay the same. If you liked the video, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Hints for the upcoming videos are now appearing up here. See you in the next video. Talk to you later.